Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if I ever told this on how I fell in love with the tall PPVs, but uh, came around 07, you know, superintendent. If you're from, if you're from Chicago, you know, you remember superintendent Jody Weister, everything gang related, uh, superintendent, domestic dispute that ended with shots fired, gang related. You know, husband and wife get into it, and the wife or the husband shoot each other. Gang related, superintendent. But yeah, um, I fell in love with the Tahoes when the city started buying them. Um, from Hawkins, Chevy, Chevy, Jim. you can turn, bro. You can turn. But when they start buying them, talking about due to the aging fleet of Crown Vicks, which they were still buying Crown Vicks at the time. Um, me and my right hand man, we was walking up to the gas station. It's 07, we kids. We walking up there, we wanted to get some chips. And I had seen the Tahoe anyways, and I liked it. I liked them. I was like, damn, they look nice. But um, Squad 6390 came south down Central. Because Bloomingdale, you know, went, uh, came down the bridge. It was coming over to the hood. Um, then got a call to go back over the bridge. So, it did a U-turn. All you hear is tire spoiling me. I was get on the gas, hit that five three, get the roar. I was like, right then and then, I knew I wanted to get a tire with PPV. I was like, yeah, I gotta get me a tire. But at the time, I didn't know they was PPVs. I just knew that, I knew I had to get me a Tahoe or a police Tahoe. I knew I wanted one. I was 13 years old and I knew I wanted a Tahoe. Um, I just knew it. Like I knew it in my heart I wanted to get a Tahoe. And, uh, you know, over the years, like, I was looking down at uh, Chicago Motors website, stuff like that to get a Tahoe, you know, but that was out of my price range, you know, I am in high school. I'm looking at Tahoe. I could barely afford to buy a 05 and Paula Nancy 1 <laughs> in 20, 2011, 2012, you know. Uh, my grand was three budget. Even them Apollo's was 3500 four green, you know, way over budget. So, I just settled, you know, I just said, forget i get a Tahoe one day. You know, and as time went on, I kept seeing the Tahoes, like, time and time, like, they was really in service. I knew I wanted one. So then when I moved back to the city in 2014, I seen the Tahoe come down the verge, flying towards Chicago Avenue. All you hear is the motor. I'm like, damn, that sound good. I'm like, where it's coming from, though? And then all of a sudden, I see a Tahoe just fly past, catch air. I'm like, yeah, I definitely got to get me one. So, you know, it, you know, years over time, like I say, a lot of y'all that been following my channel from the beginning, you know, from 2018, when I had like 30 subs, I still really ain't got that many subs. 1800, 1888, you know, shit like that. But like, when I was really starting out on YouTube, a lot of y'all knew I really wanted to talk, you know, and fast forward years later. I was able to get one, you know, I was blessed to get one, you know, and came 2021 when I started school, uh, when I went back to school, you know, and we was just really fixing on our own cars and really learning. I was like, bad. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I'm going to get me a tall PPV for my city. It need motor or transmission, fine, uh, fix it. My girl like, yeah, you can't do that, you know. You know this, you know that about cars. You know, you already had the skills before you went in. You know, so it, it went from there. And I just really, since 21, most of the time, I really wanted to get a towel from my city and fix it up. Earlier this month, I was able to get a towel from my city. Running and driving, of course. Even though I wanted one that needed a motor or a training. You know, but running and driving just need is, you know, a little work shit. I'm cool with that. So, you know, I'm just blessed to get one. Like, I'm just really having fun. Like, I'm really having fun building this, do, doing it the way I want to do it. You know, I, I just really love it. Like, 
Don't get me wrong, I still love the Crown V. But right now, I'm all Tahoe right now. I'm all Tahoe PPV. You know, I love it. A lot of people be like, oh, it's slow. Oh well, it's doable though, it's reliable. It's more reliable than the FPIUs and the FPISs. You know, shit, my city still got some of these lingering around. Some of them been struck on retirement, some of them just parked up. You know, it's just ready to be used as a spare, same way with Crown Vegas. But, like, it's all good. Like, I just love it. Like, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I done had a couple people in the groups say, oh, how much you want for it? You know, not for sale. But if I was to sell it, I'd not fix it up. Even when 226K miles, I'd say five grand the best off. You know. That's how I would do it. I would do it exactly like that. Because I ain't really trying to let this go. I'm trying to let this be one of the cars that I build up in the fleet. Stop the snitches, stay down, like, comment, subscribe.